Hello, and welcome to Tech Boost TV. I'm Jaime, and today I'm going to show you how to install memory into the dual processor HP Z840 workstation. Before beginning, we recommend checking with the manufacturer and ensuring the latest firmware is installed. For this installation, you will not need any tools. We recommend going through this process with a workstation on its side to have better access to the system's interior. Please check out the quick spec link in the description below to learn more about memory compatibility for the HP Z840. First, ensure your computer is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Then, press and hold the power button until the white light is completely shut off to ensure there is no residual power remaining on the motherboard. We highly recommend you check the manufacturer's system manual and comply with their recommended safety instructions. To open the system, lift the latch found on the side. If the latch is locked, please ensure you use the included keys to unlock the panel like so. Now remove the panel to reveal the interior. You will also need to remove the two internal covers to gain access to the memory banks for either processor. You can now see all four sets of memory banks next to each processor. There are eight slots per processor and four slots per bank. Each DIMM and slot are keyed. The specific pattern used to install memory may vary. Consult the user's manual to determine the proper pattern to use for your specific situation. To install the memory into its memory slot, align the memory stick key to the memory slot key and press down. Ensure each of the retainer clips on either side of the memory slot snap into the retaining slot in the memory stick. Also ensure a snug fit as loose memory may cause problems. Please note that memory slots are assigned to each processor. Each processor must have identical memory configurations. When you are finished, reattach each of the inner panels in this order and then the outer panel. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, memory, hard drive, and video card installation for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy with requesting additional content.